Why Donald Trump? For me, okay, back in 2016, I flew from Tokyo, Japan, where I live, to come back here to make sure I voted for Donald Trump. He's not your average politician. He's a guy that makes mistakes, that say things that are stupid, because we all do stupid things. We do crazy things. The black community don't, don't know what Donald Trump did for black people. Trump is a business person, and I like the way he negotiates. You know, and, and, and he, he, when we had him as president, we didn't have a lot, we had respect. America was respected. He is definitely looking out for the best interests of America. Yeah. I mean, that is without a doubt. You know, I just hate that it takes black people so long to even wake up to come around to it. I mean, do you think as a, as a as a population demographic, black people have come around to Trump? You wouldn't have seen this <laughs> a, a long time. You wouldn't have seen it, this right here so much during his last administration. It was people like myself and people like a, a lot of other people with the Frederick Douglass Foundation that stood up for Trump. And then, you know, we had to fight the church and everybody else because sometimes they don't like it when you don't think like they do. That's Here's right. Here's the other thing. That's true. A lot of us thought we were alone. I am going to go to one of these And didn't want to speak out. Now... You can feel a whole black, a room full of black people. And, and I, I get them every day because I'm one that speaks out. And I'll get someone to walk up to me and say, man, you, uh, man I like Trump. Dude. What, what do you think? Oh, they'll say, what do you think about Donald Trump? I say, man, I love Trump. <laughs> I say, hell. <laughs> I didn't ask you. Ramon Arroyo on Fox News said yeah. that he thinks that the black voters that like Donald Trump are because he likes sneakers. You know, that was Fox like News sneakers. saying. Yeah. Oh, because he came out with those sneakers and, and, and he slapped it in the judge's face and he sm slapped it in the, the liberal's face because they want to charge him $350 million and he made that back in less than an hour on sneakers. No, that's a smart man. Okay, so they can say what they want to say. You know, so, so no, 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 it's not about that. Black America is tired of, of, of being prostituted. We're yes. tired of being prostituted, tired yes. of being lied, lied to, tired of being manipulated, tired of having those doggy bones like he was telling you up there with the, with the black colleges where every year you got to come back and beg for some, some money. Why didn't your black president do that for you? Let's talk about that. <laughs> Why didn't your black president do that for you? Sorry for the do-rag, guys, huh? I got in the do rag tonight because uh, I'm just covering my hair up. You know what I mean? Just, just felt like covering my hair up. I just, I don't know why I felt like pointing out the do rag, but I know some of y'all know it's like, is he wearing a do rag? Yes, I am wearing a do rag. I don't know if it's called something else. It's a do rag. I don't know if it's, it might not even be called a do rag. I don't know. I don't know. But I like this message that this brother just now said. What did your black president do for you? These indictments, 91 of oh, them. All right, boy, no. we got to. You don't want to get me on that. Man. I do, Please I promise. Please don't get me on that. See, and now this is another thing that the, that, that the, that the Democrats has done. Now, how, how do, have you noticed that every state that they basically want to indict him and all this and all that, black women, pretty much a black woman. Okay, so, 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 so. They set this up. In Georgia, and it, you're talking about in Georgia, Fonnie no, Willis no, in Georgia. Fool, that, that, the one up there in New York. that Letitia the, the, James. And, and, and the guy. She Her name is Res Respucia Lattimore. Letitia James' new name is Respucia Lattimore. All right? That is Norbit's wife. All right? If you have not seen Norbit, that is an Eddie Murphy movie. And in that movie, he had this colossal giant wife. By the name of Respucia, Respucia, Lattimore, Respucia, all right? Not Letitia, Respucia, Lattimore. We have been teaching people how to grow online. It's been absolutely amazing. We have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days. Growing YouTube channels, some from zero people. We have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me. He started helping him. His views went up 4.8 million percent. We're super excited. If anybody ever want to grow on YouTube, you reach out to me with the word coach.
He ran off of destroying Trump. Now, if we did that, if we did that as, 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 as Republicans, they throw that out. I'm, run, I'm gonna run to destroy a person. And Malcolm X said it the best. He said it the best. He, you know, here's how clever they are. They use black people. My man said Malcolm X said it the best. Malcolm X? Malcolm X said it. Malcolm X said it the best. He said, cause, cause Malcolm X said it. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Hey, I got to show him love, though, because he completely forgot what Malcolm X said. <laughs> but he played it off like a G, though. He played it off like a G. He probably, listen, I probably wasn't even supposed to point out the fact that he messed that up. But he said, Michael, Malcolm X said it the best. Malcolm X said <laughs> Dang, I can't remember what Malcolm X said. All right, so let me just finish my point. See, that's what they try to do. Let me show y'all the pinky rings while I'm talking so that you can forget what Michael Mack said. Hold on. I, I, got a, I got a pinky ring, too, and I'm one of them. Like, I see OGs wearing pinky rings all the time. Pinky, they, OGs wear these big, flashy pinky rings all the time so they can talk with their hands. See, Michael Mack said it the best. I got to show my pinky ring because Michael Mack, Michael Mack, what did Michael Mack say? He said something. I don't know what he said, but this is what they try to do. The white man, the white Democrat man, all right? The Democrat, the Dem-O-Crats, all right? All right, let's get back to the Malcolm X. <laughs> that they have conditioned and, and for many years and they put them in these spots. You understand? So what is he going to What What can he say to a black well, A black man can't even say nothing to a black woman without something happening. How is a white man going to say something to a black woman today without something happening? You can't call her a stupid... <laughs> you, know, you can't call her a B-word, although that's all they, they, they hear through our music which they love which they love and they would shake their tails from it oh they they gonna get down there and they gonna get dirty dirty i'm sure i've seen i've seen kamala Harris um dancing to it i've seen kareem jean pierre fake dancing to it at a party you know with all the democrats that was invited um i've seen uh already know tiffany hinyard she's she probably writes her own raps. She's probably writing a dag on this track to the Dalton right now. Okay. So 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 that then so they're using they're using these black people. I mean, it's just like the Ku Klux Klan. They they may as well send we may as well go back to the Klan days. Donald Trump down there in in Georgia. Think he's gonna get a fair trial. He's not gonna get a good trial there. He's not gonna get it, you know. This is all a lynching. If 12 jurors convict him on any of these counts. Where does that put you? What, what do you think of a convicted president or president to be? Democracy is gone. Okay. You know, we didn't we didn't convict Nixon. You know, and he had first of all well, Nixon was pardoned. Well okay. America is gonna be in a bad situation. And it would be more divided and it could even lead to a war. Because the thing of it is, if they can do that to a president, then they can do that anything to us. That's right. That's and right. that's the way I see it. That's right. You, you know, and we don't have any, we, we, we'll have, there'll be no rules and regulations. There'll be no uh, democracy here in America anymore. And you know what? The, the Democrats don't care. They, what, what, what makes you say that? Because they're willing to push it to the edge, to have a war, to do this, to, to a civil war again. Because they think they're getting, I mean, look at what they're doing. You're about bringing communities together. You told me some of the yes, work I you am. do. The Democrats say about the Republicans the exact same thing that the Republicans and conservatives say about the liberals. Well, and who's everybody. lying? I mean, who tells the most? It, all well, of maybe they're both right. Okay. Is it possible that both are right, that both are pushing it to an edge? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you take, when you take prayer out of the schools, when you take the black man out of the household, and you say, I'm your daddy, baby. I'm gonna pay you for every little child you have, and I don't, you don't need that man, okay? 
And we, we, that's the reason we have all these traumas and the problems we have in America right now, because there's no fathers for these kids. And that's why juvenile crimes are up 200%. Who do, who, do, who do we blame? You're blaming that on the Democrats. Well, or? it started then. It started then. When they took the black man out of, out of the home, when they set this whole situation up, when they said that the black woman is more valuable than the black man because they're going to pay her more. I mean, all of this. But the, you know, but the whole thing is, is that we need God in our lives. OK, this is the, this is without dispute. Do we, we need God in our politics? Oh, I think we need God. I think so. I think so. I think we need some type of values and integrity. We need some type of system, which we do not. Yes, I, if, you, if you ever ask me that, if anybody ever asks me that, I will say yes. I will say yes. God is in our constitution. Why shouldn't it be in our politics? God should definitely, if not, then why are we following the constitution? Why does presidents have to swear on a Bible, swear in on a Bible when they become president? It's, it's a reason for all of this. Like, there are godly principles that we should follow in raising up this nation, period, which we do not. We give up on, we, we just doing whatever the hell the, the population want us to do because you want it to be a democratic country, and it's not. It's, it's a republic country, right? That's what it is. But we're always going by, okay, there's a new flavor in town. So this is what we're going to do. I don't care if it does not have any morals. I don't care if it's against children. I don't care if it's against women. does not matter. The population have spoken. No, that's not how things get done. Sorry. To lead our country in our politics. You know, we have separation of church and state in this country by original document. Do you think that that's something we should still enforce? Well, this, this country was built. Okay, I live in Japan. The Japanese don't give a what I think over there. <laughs> I can go over there and scream, Jesus is my savior. This, this, this. <laughs> go ahead. America is built on Christianity. Be it right or be it wrong. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? But we have a First Amendment too, right? Yeah, you have the right to worship who you want to. And if you don't like what we do, get the hell out of the country. Boom. As simple as that. Boom. I, I, if I don't like what Japanese do, I shut the hell up or I adapt. Why should we change our beliefs because somebody else is going to get offended? Your child, your child can sit in the classroom and don't have to participate. For my black people, read a little bit. Find out what Donald Trump has done for the black community. He's done more than your black Jesus, Obama. And he's definitely done more than your white Jesus, Biden. <laughs> y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video and hopefully inside of the playlists on all of the other videos. All of them. All right? We got playlists on top of playlists on top of playlists. And I would love for you to go check them out just so you can share them with other people. And not from my commentary alone, but... I mean, it's it's a lot of those are some some eye opening. It's some eye opening content that we've done so far that could really help people wake up, in my opinion. How do I know? Because I look at myself as as you. I look at myself like as anybody else. And if I was able to open my eyes from the information I've received, I believe that you you will be able to as well. So yeah, like and share these bad boys and comment be respectful okay and don't bully the idiots in the comment okay because there will be a few see y'all next time love y'all take care of yourselves look at yourself in the mirror tell yourself you love them i love you all right look yourself in the mirror and say that to yourself tell yourself that it's not over yet i don't care if i'm 50 i don't care if i'm 60 i don't care if i'm 70 it's not over yet i still got work to do you know what i mean all right. Not sure what your family situation is, but listen, lean on the blessings. All right. Lean on the abundance, not the lack. Okay.
Grace and mercy has nothing to do with what we've done to receive it. It's all because of how good God is. All right? And some of y'all don't believe in God. My bad. I'm talking to those who do. See y'all in the next video.